Okay, Bob, good to see you again. How are you Hi. doing? Hi there, thanks. Good to be back here. Thank you. Fantastic. And uh, what would you like to bring to today's session? Yeah, well, I've had some good news. I've got a promotion, um, which is really, really great, um, which has been a, a while in the offing. But um, I now, am, as part of this role, I'm going to have to present for the first time. And I'm a bit, nev well, I'm very nervous about the idea of presenting because I'm usually just a techie behind my desk and the idea of presenting to people and I've got to train people and I'm just nervous about that. So it'd be great to be able to work on on my, on my confidence when it comes to presenting because I've not really done it before. Okay, so uh, first of all, it's great news. Congratulations on the, on the promotion. Perfect. And so tell me about the presenting. What kind of presenting are you going to be doing? Yeah, well, um, I'm responsible for an IT platform that many of the staff use within the organisation. And um, it's kind of changed recently. There's been an upgrade. We've got a, a new tool. It's quite boring, but uh, hey, we need to use it. Um, and I need to train people to be able to use that because it's important for people to input the data. So it's really right. that kind of tutorial, taking people through it and just making sure people are comfortable and that they're using the system appropriately. So it's going to be training groups of... It could be anything between five and 30 people in rooms, just okay. in terms of how to, to use the system. And what would, what would it be useful for us to spend the time on today that's going to help you feel more confident about it? Yeah, just any, any tips about just making me feel more, is that you put your finger on it, helping me feel more, more confident and, um, and maybe just to think through how I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, yeah. Right, and so what would you ideally like to leave the session with that's going to help you with that? Yeah, I think feeling calm, feeling that I know what I'm doing. Okay. Um, yeah, and feeling okay, feeling yeah. as I can do it, yeah. So just feeling that you can do this, yeah. you're okay, yeah. you can do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. feeling calm, feeling that I can do it, and yeah, and a, and a sense of just how I'm going to do that, yeah. Okay, and when does this uh, when does this new role start? Well, I'm, I've just started the new role, but the first time I've got to deliver training is in about two weeks' time. Oh, two weeks, okay, all right, sure. So um, I see you've got your pen and paper there. Do you want to write that down as one clear goal? Yeah. One, one, one sentence that says what you want to have. Yeah. If you just read it out as you're writing it, or once you've written it, whichever works best for you. Yeah. Um, um, okay, so I've got um, to feel confident, feel confident about presenting and knowing how to, is how I've worded it. Okay, okay. Yeah. So with the confidence, um, how, how do you feel, how is that confidence when you think about it now? If you were to think about you presenting now and, and measure that confidence on, for example, a scale of one to 10. So 10 is high, one is low. Where would you say you are at the moment? I think with the material, I'm fine with the material. So I'm quite confident with the material because um, I know it, um, I know the system. But the presenting, so the material, I'm like a nine because I know it. The actual material is, uh, I mean, pre but presenting itself, I'm like about five. Okay. So with the material, the actual uh, training, is it, when you say presenting, it's training? Yeah, I'm talking people through how to, what to do, how to fill in these fields and fill in that field. Right. It's a system that pretty much everyone in the organisation, or well, a large number of people sure. use. So it's just talking them through it and how the new system works compared to the old one. And I, I live on this system, I help kind of create it, so I know that stuff. It's just the presenting side that I've never really sure. done training people before. So what makes it a nine? Um, oh, because I know that I know the material inside now. You know, I know the system that we use. I know it um, very, very well, and, and uh, yeah, so no worries about that. Okay. And with the thinking about the presentation, uh, what makes it a five? Um, yeah, because I'm just, I'm so new to it, and I just think it's like what confident people do, and I'm just a quiet techie, um, and um, so it's just new. Maybe it's just new. I'm, I'm, I'm not done it. I just prefer to be behind the screen. Right. Um, so, what goes on for you in, inside when it when it's a five? Yeah, just feeling a bit nervous, a little bit like like now, just feeling a bit nervous and um, uh, yeah, just a little bit nervous and and, un, and unsure. Um, so maybe if I can just find techniques to and just tips of how I'm going to just manage that, that will just help me to feel more confident. I'm okay. Because when you were saying um, a bit nervous, you were kind of doing this yeah. so I'm guessing you, you're telling me about your hands yeah, yeah. so what goes on and you were, you're moving your hands a little bit yeah yeah just so, so bit. what goes on for you when you're thinking of that yeah just a little bit sweaty and a little bit like 
scatty and so on. Whereas I like to be focused, like when I'm normally doing my stuff, if I can be just really focused, right. then I just feel so much better. Like that's what, how I feel about the material, but it's just the presenting thing. Yeah. So. And you said scatty, in what way is scatty? Oh, my brain goes all over, all over the place, yeah. <laughs> so I think I just need a, I'm gonna need a focus for just how I'm gonna um, deliver. I guess the good thing is that they are people who I, most of the people are people I know, or I, you know, I, you know uh, many of them will be people I know. So have you, uh, have you presented in, in, in some other ways, uh, in, in some other scenarios, with these people, with these teams? Um, one to one, sometimes just showing people how to, so I'll sit down with an individual and just show them how to use the system, so that's fine. Right, and so when you're doing that, so you're sitting with them or you're yeah. standing with them? Sitting with them usually. Just and how, how will that be different when you're presenting to the um, teams? I guess it will just be a, just a bigger room, but I guess the process is kind of similar of what I need to take them through. Maybe that's something for me to hang on to, but the process will be, uh, maybe I just need to get used to the fact that they're just going to be sat in a, in a broader space. But th I think the process will be will be similar, just with a few more questions and answers. So where will the training take place? Um, we've got a few training rooms, um, and most of them will be in one or two of those training rooms. Occasionally, it might be in, a, in one of the larger offices. Right, OK. What would you need to have? You, as you say, you want to have some tools and tricks. Mm. Uh, that's mm. going to help you calm mm. your nerves. Mm. I hopefully bring it up from a. When you say it's a five at the moment, mm. what would you like your confidence I to be by the time you start doing your training in two weeks? Mm, maybe about not a nine. I don't want to be more than nine, but nine. If I could be like a nine. Okay. nine what would, would be, be different if it was a nine? Um, I just think I'd be organised. I'd just walk in there like I knew what I, I knew what I was doing, and um, and just with a clear steps of how I'm going to do it. Right. Okay. So as a five, because you said you would walk in there, you just know what you're doing. So if it was a five, how would you, how would you sit now? If, if, if you think it's a five, mm -hmm. how would you sit with your confidence now as a five? What would it look like? Yeah, I'd be probably so a, bit, yeah, a bit sweaty. <laughs> okay, so how would, would you show, uh, how would you, how would you sit, how would your body yeah. uh, language change now if you were a five, if your confidence was a five? Uh, okay. If you were to go there now, how would it? Oh, I think I'd be a little bit more um, reserved and maybe not looking at people a little bit, just more agitated. Okay, yeah. and what else are you noticing about your body language? A bit and more how? tight. <laughs> okay, you said tight. You did this when you were tight. So what's going on here? Yeah, the shoulders are a bit slumped, yeah. Okay, um, and, and where are your hands now? Your hands are on my knees. Okay, and and, and are you? did you lean back or lean forwards? Or uh, you... I think I was kind of just... Here we're and a hunching start. a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. So wipe that. Mm. If you were thinking you were a nine, mm -hmm. how would you sit if you were a nine? Oh well, I'd probably just be like that. I'd be really, really relaxed, and I'd probably be stood up when I'm stood up in front of them, and just very, very, just very, very relaxed, and just think it's like a conversation, really, just a chat. All right. So what just happened there to the body language? So just think about you, what happened. What was different about your body? Language? Just more open, just more relaxed, and just yeah. knowing my stuff, really, and that feel, it feel good. It feels good. Thinking about um, when you were feeling uh, less confident, you were feeling slightly twitchy. Mm. Uh, you said your, your mind was a bit scatty. Yeah. So how was it different when you were... More, when far more focused, far more focused. Like I can now look in you in the eye and be like that. Yes, yeah, so okay. far more focused, yeah. And what about the gestures? What's going on with the gestures? It's far more like? clear and focused. Like, okay, here's the things I'm going to talk to you about today, everybody. I'm going to walk you through this. If you've got any questions, just let me know any questions that you've got um, right. as we go through. Yeah. So what can you take from this that will help you when you come to that first presentation? In a couple so of weeks? I, I think that one of the first things I could do is just um, remembering that I know my stuff. I think that's the first thing that I, uh, for me it's like remembering that I know the stuff. Um, I think the other thing I could take really from this is maybe just writing down what I'm going to do when, just the timings of what I'm going to do. I kind of know the material, but I think okay. if I give myself just to sort out the timings of the session, you know, how long, what I'm, where I'm going to be at which point during that 90 minute yep. session. And yeah, just walking in a little bit more um, upright and looking people in the eye and smiling maybe. Okay. So um, you mentioned about, uh, you know your stuff. Mm. As you've said right at the very beginning, this is your this is your deal, this, mm. is, your, this is your thing, this is your, this is your expertise, mm. okay? And um, with timings, you said it was 90 minutes, so the presentation, yeah. the training is gonna be the whole 90 minutes. Yeah. Okay, 
and you said about writing it down. So what would you need to write down? Well, I think what I will do, I've got all of the material, I've got all of the course um, materials and I'm just showing people the actual, actual system. But I think I'm, what I'll do is just write down how long will probably be the introduction and find out if they've got any general questions. And then we'll probably go into the main bit of showing them screen by screen what's changed, what's, re what's remained the same. So just going by all the screens. Um, and then just asking if there's any questions as we go along. Um, and so to allow, I think, making sure that we've got a good half hour for any kind of questions because some people are just newer to the system and there might be a, it's their opportunity to ask me anything right okay so you said to begin with the intro yeah yeah so what would be in the intro you know hi everyone good morning i'm just here to show you the new the new database that you're all going to be using um say a little bit about my name i'm bob i work for the it team um and then i'll probably just ask them um if they've got experience of using the system before okay. and then just talk them through what we're going to be covering the areas of the system that we can be going through and then I'll be and then I'll actually just go through through it screen by screen okay and then finally the questions and with the intro how long you, so you've got a 90 minute session yeah and you're planning this so how how long ideally would you like to I think about 10 minutes just 10 minutes about 10 minutes yeah okay and uh, what's uh, what comes next after the intro then I think after that we're pretty much into just going chunk by chunk through through the system and I reckon that that might take anything between 30 and you know 30 odd minutes and then we've got the rest of the time maybe it, it depends 30 to 45 minutes the rest of the time if we need it all is for any q a and we can sometimes right. finish it so when you say you're going to go through the main content chunk by chunk yeah does that need to be timed or scheduled or how because you say the material is already written. yeah yeah i'm i'm pretty cool with that i know how long each particular screen it will be it's probably going to be about 10 minutes per particular area so that should be pretty fairly fairly fine okay so you said that will be between 30 45 minutes yeah and a 10 minutes intro and a 10 minutes intro and this is kind of just guidelines yeah yeah okay but we know it's a 90 minute is it a firm 90 minute slot oh no we can finish it no we can finish early so then the rest of the time means that i can just spend on any questions that they right. have and if you finish later, is it flexible in that you can finish later than 90 minutes? Um, if need be, but I, I know I can get through it. It's a 90 minutes. minute. Yeah. Okay. So the, the remainder of the time, around 30 minutes or so, would yeah. be for Q&A. For the Q&A, that's right, yeah. Yeah, okay. And so what else would you need to do to really support yourself into feeling more confident? More like a nine than a five. Yeah, I think, to be honest, this thing written down does a lot of it. And then just, um, just going for it, practicing it a few times... I might maybe even speak it in the mirror or go for it with one of my pals and the team who's done some training before. That might be very useful, but I think it's just picturing it and getting into the room early actually will just help me just to set everything up. I just feel far more confident. Okay. I might even do a trick that I've seen somebody do, which is to sit in some of the chairs that people we sat in so I can see what the experience is from somebody who's um, a delegate. To, to kind of sit in there. Yeah. I was going to say sit in their shoes. It doesn't work, <laughs> but you, you know what I mean. Okay. All right. So anything else? Um, to be honest with you, I think that's I think that's pretty much it. It's to, because for me, it's about just keeping it clear and simple, and just making it really relaxed and just a chat. Okay. You know, just being really friendly. And so, just remind me what the goal was for today's just session. The goal was really to feel confident about presenting and how I was, knowing how I was going to do it. Okay. And you were a five when you came here. When you yeah. think about it now, in two weeks, what would it be? Definitely, I'm definitely an eight and a half, and I'm sure by the time I'm there, I'll be a nine. Is all I need to just remember is just. They're just people like me and just uh, make it a bit of a chat because I know my stuff really. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, real pleasure. Thank you so much for your time today, Mike. I really appreciate it. Thanks. So it's me, Rashid, the coach, and you just um, saw Bob. And Bob was somebody, as you got the sense of, new job, um, promotion, they're excited about it. But as you could probably tell, they were very, very nervous about the idea of presenting. You could probably even see it in terms of their body language and all the rest of it. And Bob is actually an amalgamation of a few people that I've coached over time. Many, many people actually have problem with, with um, presenting anxiety. And Bob was one of them. And really, Bob just really needed the space and that support just to become more clear about what he was going to do. Um, he thought it was about his confidence. But actually, um, through talking it through with Mike, he realized that he already had a lot of the competence that he needed and actually what he needed was just a strategy, some strategies of what he was going to do, how he was going to do it, and to remember that he already um, knows his stuff. 
So for him, just those few handful of things that he could do, planning out his timing, engaging with people, being himself, and doing all the preparatory work, and just engaging with his audience made him feel so much more comfortable. So by the end, he had moved from five out of 10 in confidence to feeling that eight and a half, and by the time he'd done his practice, he would be a, a nine out of 10 in terms of confidence. So um, it's a great job by, uh, by Mike and the coaching, and um, yeah, Bob was feeling good when he left.